Hello boys and girls and welcome to Sunday School today and we're going to hear about someone else that met Jesus and it was the rich young ruler. But before we go to the Bible story I'm going to tell you one of my favourite things to do and I'm looking out the window now and the sun is shining really brightly and this is October and it reminds me of what I love to do on a super sunny day and I'm sure maybe you do as well is head to the beach. Now you boys and girls know I'm all for a tick list boys and girls and my tick list for the beach and maybe yours is the same I've got some things here with me so you can check out if you take these to the beach. I've got my sun cream already I've got my swimming suit, very important, or swimming trunks you might need. I've got my beach towel, very important too. And I have got my bucket and spade already. And oh, maybe a surfboard for you boys and girls. I'm a bit old for a surfboard now. Or a bodyboard, I think it's called now. And most important, I like my food. So I've got my lunch box and I've got my drink from a picnic. So I have. Now, I know, boys and girls, one of the things that's really important when you're going to the beach is this stuff here, the sun cream. But do you know what makes you all sticky and gooey, some of you might say, and oh, I'm not taking that. No way am I taking that sticky stuff with me. And mommy or daddy say, well, if you don't take it, you know what happens. You get sunburn, so you do. And we'll not be going to the beach. And I know someone who said that, and they wouldn't take it. They knew it was good for their skin. They wouldn't get sunburn, but no way. They weren't for taking it. And they didn't get to go to the beach their favourite thing to do. And you know, in our story, and maybe you'd like to look this up, boys and girls, so while I'm chatting, I'm going to read out to you where your mum and dad can check this out in the Bible, the story about the rich young ruler. So if you want to look up Matthew chapter 19 and verses 16, to 26 and there you'll find the story and what happened when the rich young ruler met with Jesus. Now he had a tick list because he did want to go to heaven so he did and he had a tick list of things boys and girls that he thought he needed. So we'll think of the things he had. He had lots of money so he did. Um, he was religious, he went to his church, he prayed, and he kept the commandments. And he thought, hmm, that should all get me to heaven. And he was a ruler as well, so he was very important and probably very clever. He had lots of friends, and because he had lots of money, he had lots of nice things as well, boys and girls. And when he met Jesus, he said to Jesus, what must I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said to him, you have to give up all your money. Oh, give up all this money? But that was one of the most important things in his life, even before God, boys and girls. He put money first. And you know what? He wasn't willing to give up the money. And he walked away from God that day. The young man asked the right question and he, like all of us, was unwilling to live a perfect life that pleased God. We can't go to heaven by doing good things. We please God and get to heaven by trusting in Jesus. And our memory verse is Matthew 22 verse 37. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Remember now, boys and girls, we can't get to heaven with our tick list. We have to love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind.
And we look forward to next week when Sharon's going to bring us um, another story of someone else who met Jesus. Bye-bye. <laughs>